All right, guys, he's in here. Welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. So, today, there's been an update, and obviously, the update is, I guess, exciting. Well, it is exciting, right? But th there's some drawbacks, right? So, the update is there is a new shop being added, right? It's the substitute shop. Let's have a look at what's in here, right? So, you've got Soul Cores, decent. You've got Soul Shards, decent. You've got Loose Stone Kits very decent you've got your strengthening tokens original tokens epic crystals epic rare balls <laughs> epic rare balls <laughs> rare crystal balls <laughs> epic rare balls i can't believe i said that uh, shattered crystal ball transformation scrolls rare accessory super accessory faith gem workshop token and break stones right so from here if you ask me the the good usable items is going to be your workshop tokens your break stones I guess your faith gems, maybe gold and silver tokens if you're struggling, but mainly your boost stones, soul shards and soul cores. So I mean, I'd say that the first three items and the last two items will probably be the predominantly most used ones. Now obviously you can see prices here, 600. That's only going to really be able to be discussed once we know exchange rates, right? How do you get these? Well, you get these by trading off things that you've got. Now, this actually is taking an idea I had a while ago, and it's kind of implementing it, but not fully implementing it, because to get these, to have these, you can recycle things, right? So what can you recycle? Well, you can't recycle these, which, thankfully, you probably wouldn't want to recycle these, so let's just use these anyway, right? Hey, nice. That's quite an awesome pull from those you got to see there. <laughs> um, actually, I think that's now Witch Jury done to SSS5. Um, actually, let me just go and double check that now. Hey, both of those units have now just did a power up. She's done. Awesome sauce. Completely unexpected. She's now done. Awesome sauce. Talk about luck. I'll take that one. Thanks very much, game. Um, anyway, back to the actual thing we were talking about. Um, so you can't break down anything that is of an A rank, which we're going to come back to. Right, That's quite important. You can break down these, right? One to one. So one shard equals one... Like, chip or material or currency or whatever we're calling it right so for these 12k shards i've got despite the fact i would have to do it 12 times 12k shards will equal 12,000 of those little thingy me bobs right so i'm just going to do it right because i need these anyway I, I don't need these anyway so we'll get rid of all these right get rid of all these blue shards which i mean yeah they're pretty useless anyway so we'll get rid of all these So that's one to one, right? So that should now put me in about 12,000 odd, right? So if I go to shop, substitute shop, soul cores. So how many soul cores could I buy? Can I only buy these one at a time? Why have you done that game? You can only buy them one at a time. That's awesome. So I can buy, there's not a limit on them, but I can buy what? Got 11,000? An average of 2.5 for every 2,000, I would get five purchases on this. So I had 12,000, I think, to begin with. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Wait, wait. Ah, 2, 4. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 20. What am I even doing, man? I can't even count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Right, so for every 2,000, I can get 100 of them, right? So I would get one, two, three, four, five, six, 600. Right, so 12,000 of these little materials would get me, well, what did I say? 600 of them. Is that good? 
I don't know, right? I don't know. I can't say. So how else do you get them? Well, and this is probably where you'll get most of them. You can trade in these. And you can obviously see there, you get a trade-in ratio of 60 to 1. So instead of 1 to 1, you get 60 to 1, right? So we'll trade all them in. It's 21k. Sell. Then you've got these ones. So if we go to sell, what's the trade-in rate for these? It's 90 to 1. So if they're actually faction specific, you will get more. So you'll get 90 to 1 ratio. So we'll trade all them in. 77k. Trade all them in. 18k. Trade all them in. 65k. That's it though. Right? I mean, you, you can trade in B rank shards, which for characters, which I don't really see why you're going to have them. Like if you go to the shop and you go to City Shop, like these fragments, I believe you can sell them, right? Now I'm not going to test it because I don't, I'm not going to waste my materials to buy these just to sell them, but I don't think you get them anywhere else. So. I don't know why you would have them if you can't use them, but anyway, so you can sell them for the materials, right? So all in, you've seen all that stuff I traded in there, and I've now got 196k, right? What you can't do, right, is if you go to here, arena, right, you go to dismiss, you can still only deal with your C rank units, right? If you go to Awaken, you still can't do anything with all of these units. So you'll notice here I've got quite a lot of Vipers. There's a reason why I've got a lot of Vipers because I was trying to work out if something was worthwhile or not, right? So if you go to yeah, 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 here, return, right? You've got all these guys, right? If you choose one of these guys, so say Zangief, right? You can pay 500 stones and you can return 144 of these, right? But you will get nine copies of him back, taking up more box space, right? So you could, in theory, spend 500 to get 144. They're worth 90 per one. I'm not going to do the math right now. You can do it. Work out if it's worth your while. That's cool and all. But I do not understand how they've done this and they've still not figured out a way to allow us to get rid of these dupes, right? Because this is cool, okay? This is cool. But see these up here, these green materials, right? What they should have is they should have a secondary currency that maybe it's blue, maybe it's gold, whatever, right? and you'll get a purple, whatever, right? That colour of currency, you will get from breaking down your duplicate copies of S rank unit or A rank units, right? So if you've got a box filled with these units that you can't use, it would give you that other currency. And then in this shop, you would have a second tier. So above these things, you would have a second tier that would use this other currency and you could trade in your dupes for things like special summon tickets, divination tickets, higher amounts of soul cores, higher amounts of boost stone kits, whatever they want to do. I don't really care, right? They have to take this idea, which is good. Right now, it is good, but it's a half measure. They have to take this idea, they have to implement this secondary system on top of it, which is pretty simple. You'll see it in a lot of games, they'll have two different types of currencies for when you break things down. You break down lower ranked units or lower ranked things, you get the lower ranked currency. You break down higher ranked things, you get the higher ranked currency. It's very standard in this type of game. When we break these units down, we would get that secondary currency, that higher currency, and in this shop, you would have things that you could do with that currency, meaning that you can A, clear out your box. I don't care that they've given us more box space, right? It's super annoying having all of these units that you're doing nothing with. It would give us more box space. It would give us some kind of reward for pulling dupes, I suppose. And it would allow us to get them out of the box 
and use them in something like this. This is a good start, but again it's a half measure. Please, for the love of God, don't fix this. I've got 1,600, 1,960 tokens now. 1,000 tokens now. I'm going to have to sit like this to burn them down. It's going to take ages. I mean, it's not going to take that long, right? But why not put in the option to buy multiples? I don't understand why do you not have the option to buy multiples. That would just make far too much sense. Can we just add that into the game, please? So, yes, this is a good addition. It could be better because, like I said, we do still need a way to get rid of our duplicate characters. And this, so far, doesn't address that. So game, top joy, thank you. Nice first step towards fixing something. If you could now just go ahead and actually fix it by implementing what I've said, we'll be in good, we'll be in good stead. So let me know in the comments down below. Are you happy about this? Is this a good change? Do you find it's beneficial? Let me know in the comments. I've been Hazink. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.